I've heard this toy line is out of this world. I'll be the judge of that. Prepare for launch. <laughs> What's going on everyone? Welcome back to Luna Figs coming to you once again from the Nerd Den located high atop Luna Base and today I'm taking a look at the Cosmic Legions Sligoree's uh, Tusk Gravekeeper. This is my first foray into Cosmic Legions. I've always heard really great things about this line. Of course Mythic Legions been around for quite a while. Never got into those either, but the Four Horsemen are legends in the action figure game. So I finally pulled the trigger. I was at Toylanta and they were there. Super nice guys. Checked out all their products. They talked me through the whole experience, uh, how they all go together, some of the mythology. Decided to pull the trigger on this guy right here as my first foray into the line so let's get into it okay first things first here we're going to start off by checking out the packaging this is a very nice presentation Have a very nice large window there uh, so you can see the figure uh, several of the accessories this thing does have quite a few accessories included got some great artwork here on the front the Cosmic Legion's logo, Slagoree's Tusk Gravekeeper, or TU5CC. I've heard everybody call it Tusk, so that's what I'm going with. Again, this is my first foray into this line. So uh, forgive me if I don't have all the details correct. I uh, got a little uh, bio right there uh, about uh, the Gravekeeper and his background. Uh, even more over here so I will let you uh, pause and read that if you wish to learn more about this character uh, we have the back of the box with uh, call outs of several other figures in this line and uh, as you can see just some incredible looking figures in this lineup uh, can see why people enjoy this so much Got uh, some credits right there, so that's very nice. Uh, bottom of the box, got the barcode, all your legal stuff. Top of the box, cool little logo up top as well. But uh, enough about the box. Let's get into the figure. Okay, I'm just jumping in here real quick. I'm in the middle of opening this. You can, you can see everything down here on the table. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I was not prepared. <laughs> I'm going to be completely honest with you. I was not prepared for all this. This is mind blowing. I can't wait to get into this. Okay, I got the figure out of the box and it comes with this nice little bit of artwork as an insert. Uh, should work nicely for some photography or display. Very cool. Nice addition. But uh, let's get into the figure. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at all this stuff. I mean, I opened it up and it just kept going. <laughs> and I kept pulling out more accessories and it just kept going. And I don't even know what some of this stuff is. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best to kind of fumble through and figure out what all this stuff is, where it goes, where it could go. Uh, I, I always heard that customizing these figures was a very big part of it. Uh, they weren't lying. <laughs> so I'm going to do my best to try and figure out what all this stuff is. So let's begin. Uh, hoses. Yeah, these are hoses. Where do they go? I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll figure that out as we go. Maybe they go back here. looks like there's some holes right there in the back of his armor. So hoses, uh, we got a stick. Uh, I'm guessing these go on there. So some sort of uh, electric baton or something. Got one with no power effects in it. Another with some little purple electricity. So I'm guessing it's some, some sort of a taser staff or something. 
So that's cool. Uh, we have a rifle. Very cool looking rifle. Uh, nice little paint details on it. Uh, very good and sturdy. Very solid. It's not gummy or anything. Uh, looks like we've got a little spot. Maybe that's what these little clear pegs are for to peg in there so you can attach it to the figure. Again, I don't know. <laughs> I'm figuring this out as I go along. Uh, what else do we have? Uh, head sculpts. Yeah, we got the head sculpt on the figure, which is a cool looking alien. But then we have these like robot heads. They're super detailed. Got this clear purple visor on it, little red eye in there. Same with this one. I love this blue metallic finish. Got some uh, silver callouts or metallic gray, more likely. Yeah, so cool looking. So extra head sculpts. That's a nice touch. Uh, we have this piece. I'm not sure what that's for. It's kind of soft, a little bit rubbery. I'll have to do some research <laughs> and figure out what that is. Uh, we got these. Uh, I'm thinking maybe some shoulder pauldrons or something. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> oh, I'm doing a great job on this one. <laughs> uh, I've got some visors, maybe? Yeah, purple visors. Why not? <laughs> Uh, maybe they clip on to the helmets. Let's see. Let's test my theory. Do they clip onto there? Mm, I see potential for it. If it goes the other way. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we'll keep playing with it. I'll see if I can figure out what all these pieces are. I promise I'm not going to leave you hanging. Looks like a little hologram of a solar system. So I think I figured that much out. <laughs> uh, I'm guessing this is some sort of shield piece. Maybe it works with a shield. I don't know. <laughs> uh, again, so much stuff. I think this is the handle for the shield. Let's check out the shield while we're talking about it. Got some cool writing on it looks like this is a separate piece uh, i got this little piece inside uh, i'm guessing that's what these are as well i don't know if these are extras yeah it looks like the pegs are different sizes on them so maybe they work with different accessories looks like this just pegs on right there has a very tight fit so there's your handle for a shield I'm guessing you can pop this off. Yes, you can. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Does this pop on the front end? Yes, it does. Okay. Does this pop back on? No. Okay, so I guess this is like a power, like a laser shield or something. Yeah, very similar shape to this. So that's what I'm going with. This is like an energy shield to go with this. And perhaps these go on. I don't know. <laughs> like I said, I'm just going to have to figure all this out. So, yeah, highly customizable. So, I'm going to be doing some customizing. Uh, so, these, yeah, these are additional attachments for the shield. Got this little, looks like a little fan. Yep, don't know where that goes. Uh, some more armor bits. These might be uh, shoulder pieces as well. Uh, then we have the helmet, which I've already looked at. Very cool. Love this purple kind of energy visor looking thing. Lots of great detail on this helmet. And then we have looks like a piece of back armor yeah 
So it looks like this will go around the shoulders up here, like so. I guess we're gonna have to take this one off. Yeah, there's a place for everything to peg in right there. Yeah, very cool. Uh, then we have lots of alternate hands. Uh, got three left hands, got a trigger finger, got of an open hand, and a fist. And then those same hands mirrored for the right hand. Looks like there's a little bit of a slot cut in there to hold the weapons. Another splayed open hand. And a fist. All right, that's all the accessories. I'm going to try to get all this cleared up. Then we'll take a look at the figure. All right, let's take a look at the figure itself. Uh, I did pop this armor piece off. Uh, just to kind of get it out of the way so we could really check out what just the base figure can do. Uh, it does have a little disclaimer that uh might want to heat up the joints, that it can get stiff. Uh, mine joints are nice and tight, but not overly tight. I didn't have any issues. Uh, about the only problem I had was uh, the head was very tight on the uh, ball joint. But once I got it broken loose, works no problem now. Pops off. Well, the neck comes out that way. And then you can pop the neck joint out of the head. <laughs> if it'll come now. Yeah, so not too much trouble there. And uh, you can put on the interchangeable heads. So no problem there. Pops on real nice, secure. So it's not going to fall off or anything. Uh, you pop the head back in. And there you go. Uh, like I said, it is on a ball joint. So it looks up very nicely. Uh, down pretty well. Got a little bit of tilt. And you kind of have to hold the neck. It, it is very tight, so the neck wants to spin instead of just the head turning. So you might have to hold the neck steady if you're wanting to just move the head. Uh, arms pretty heavily armored so it doesn't quite go up all the way into a t-pose but pretty close uh, got elbows right here uh, single jointed elbows uh, does swivel at the elbow as well uh, got the hands looks like uh, they are up and down or side to side there uh they got that way on both of those these are kind of uh loosely gripping hands so these are the hands that come on the figure in box uh got a looks like a dumbbell perhaps at the waist it's so, uh forward not a ton. Quite a bit of back, though. Uh, some side-to-side -side swivels nicely. Uh, the legs. We do have these armor pieces, but they're soft rubber, so they get out of the way. Uh, kicks forward. Uh, this armor piece does get in the way a little bit. So that's about as far forward as he can kick. Uh, kicking back. Again, kind of kicks off to the side, this... Butt plate back here gets in the way. Kicking out to the side. Pretty much 90 degrees there. So that's pretty impressive. Uh, single jointed knees. Kind of surprising. But, uh, I mean, you don't really need much more of that because this armor is going to get in the way of getting up any further anyways. So, uh, yeah, no point in putting double jointed knees on it. Uh, does swivel at the knee. Let's see. Oh, we have a swivel up at the hip as well. That's nice. And then kind of a ball joint with a hinge in it down here at the ankles. So uh, kicks up. Again, the armor gets in the way. Down fairly nicely. Again, the armor. Then it tilts right there. So, yeah. Plenty of articulation, especially for a nice armored figure like this. 
and uh, it does come with a lot of armor. So I'm going to uh, try some different configurations out and we'll check those out. All right, we got a different configuration of the figure. I uh, got one of the alternate robot heads on it. Very cool, love the little red dot right there. <laughs> little eye peering out at you. Got his little staff with some electricity going in it. Uh, figured out what some of these pieces are. So this is a little hose piece, plugs into the back there, the hoses feed out, go around to the arms. Looks like they could also plug in here uh, into the belt. Uh, have the shoulder pauldrons on here. And it turns out these things that I thought were shoulder pauldrons are actually for the helmet. Let's see, let's go this way. Gotta figure out which way they snap on here. One moment, please. Okay, I'm back. Looks like this little purple thing pops off and then you can pop this on for a little visor piece. There's these little pegs. Gotta line those up and it pops on just like that. Okay, that's cool. Or you can also do it with these purple pieces as well. Again, just line them up, pop them on. Got to find it just the right position. There you go. There's a little energy visor there. Very nice. So lots of accessories and options there. Uh, I'll be honest. I do like just the original one. Like being able to see the little energy little eyepiece pop it out there it's a very nice touch so i will probably just leave this piece on there uh all right let's uh do another configuration all right got our next configuration up uh got him holding his shield here very nice big shield fits nicely into the hand got the other head sculpt on uh got the trigger finger with the Rifle here fits on very nicely. I did put the uh, little back armor piece on. Love these details running up the spine. Can't get over this blue color of the armor. Absolutely love that. Uh, will tell you this was a little bit of a challenge to get on. Very snug fit. All this stuff is very snug. Uh, fits very well, but it will go. Just don't force it. Be patient. <laughs> this is a, a very patience testing type figure. There's a lot to it, a lot that you can do with it. You just have to be patient and uh, figure it all out, but uh, well worth it. Uh, let's do uh, one more configuration. Okay, I've got one final configuration here. I uh, got his space helmet on, got the original alien head on there. Uh, Got him looking at his little solar system hologram display coming out of his wrist. There are so many configurations. Uh, did figure out the little fan can go in his chest there. Uh, I could spend hours <laughs> showing you all the different ways all these things work. Uh, do some research. I'm just telling you, uh, if you get this figure, which I do recommend, <laughs> uh, if you do pick it up, go online. Uh, do a little bit of research. There are so many configurations. Be creative. Have fun with it. It is a very fun figure. But like I said, be careful. It can be a little trying at first, but the more you mess with it, the looser everything gets. But everything still holds position very well. Uh, stands up very nicely. You put a arm in position. It stays. It's a uh, very happy with that. It's a very good quality. You can tell in the materials, this is very well made, very well thought out. Uh, so much fun. But uh, I'm going to pose it up one last time and uh, give you my final thoughts. All right, that is it for my closer look at the Cosmic Legions Sligo Rees Tusk Gravekeeper. 
Uh, as I said, this is my first foray into the Cosmic Legions, my first Four Horsemen figure. I have to say, I am very, very impressed. I get the hype. <laughs> uh, so much fun. Uh, frankly, it's overwhelming the amount of accessories that comes with this figure. Uh, so many options. I can see why people army build these. I can see where the obsession comes from. Lots of different options. I, I showed you three configurations. Uh, there are so many more options that you could do with this figure that I barely scratched the surface. Like I said, go online, do a little bit, little bit of research, uh, check it out. Uh, so many things that you can do. Or just have fun, experiment with it. Uh, there's no wrong way to display this figure. And uh, they make sure you have lots and lots of options. So again, highly recommend it. This was $65. I did pick it up at Toy Atlanta directly from the Four Horsemen. Uh, you can check out their website. Uh, I will uh, stick a link in the uh, description so you can order it directly from them. Uh, they have authorized retailers. Uh, so lots of ways you can get your hands on this figure, but I can't recommend it enough. Uh, great, great experience uh, for the first time with Cosmic Legions. But uh, that's all I've got for today. If you are new here, do me a favor. Hit that subscribe button. Turn on your notifications. But that's it. I will see you guys next time around.